Hey, what's up? Welcome back. So, you know me, you know I love a good nude lip. And I get asked so often, like, what's my favourite nude? And I don't actually have a favourite, I have about 5,000 favourites. So I wanted to share some of my current nude favourite lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks, glosses, just combos. I think I have about 10 different lipsticks. I have a mix of, like, liquid lipsticks and regular lipsticks and just different little combos that I have been loving wearing right now. So I'm just gonna show you them all to you. The first shade I'm gonna show you is this Lawless Liquid Lipstick. It's called Cameron. First off, it smells delicious, like, like sweets. It kinda smells like sweets. Now I usually don't love shades that are quite on the peachy side, like this is more on the peachier side of a nude than I usually like, but I don't know, for some reason, this one just works. I just really, really like it. I also, I can't even express how much I love the formula of these. They're so lightweight. Your lips don't get dry, like it doesn't crack off. It's not really thick, like it's very liquidy when you put it on. I am hoping eventually they will extend the shade range because I really want more nudes in this. They do have like reds and like berry tones and pinks and they do have lighter shades. But they are a little bit either too pink or too peach. I would love, love if they brought out like nudes, you know? Not too pink, not too peach, not too cool. Just a mish in the middle. That's what I want, that's what I hope. So this is Cameron from Lawless. Mm, my lips are gonna be raw after this video. My next nude liquid lipstick is Child Star from Too Faced. This is their Melted Matte. So you can see with this shade, it's a bit more on the cooler brownie side, it's still being nude. And this is another formula that I really, really, really like, the Melted Matte from Too Faced. It goes on really easy, it's not too thick. It is a little bit of a thicker formula than the Lawless, but it's still not too thick. It doesn't crumble off your lips like some liquid lipsticks do. This stays on really nice throughout the day. I just want to also add that when I wear liquid lipsticks, I very, very, very rarely wear lip liners with it. I just don't really see the point because like a liquid lipstick is usually full coverage that's going to cover everything anyway. Sometimes I will put a little bit of a gloss over this one. I'm going to use the Motives gloss. This is called Amazing. I hope this isn't gone off. No, it smells okay. I have it a while, but it'll be okay just to show you this. It's such a good gloss. It's so glossy. So this is it with the gloss. So that's a little combo that I like to do. This gloss, by the way, I will put it over a lot of the nudes I wear. I'm just gonna quickly show you some of the other glosses I like to use. I don't have specific combos, like a certain lip gloss that goes with a certain lipstick. It just depends. Like I just honestly put any gloss with any lipstick, depending on what's closest to me at the time. I don't have a favorite gloss lipstick combo. So I'll just show you some of my favorite glosses. So the first one then is the Motives gloss that I just used. I also live for these butter glosses from NYX. I just recently went and bought loads more because I love them so, 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 so much. This one is in the shade Fortune Cookie. I will wear this over a different lipstick so you can see. I also love the Fenty Beauty gloss. It's great, it's actually gorgeous just on its own and it's gorgeous over pretty much most lipsticks. It does sometimes darken some of my lipsticks or alter the color, but not that much, just a little bit. So this is another one I like to wear. Again, really nice and creamy. And then another one that I've recently got, this is only new to me, I've used it only a handful of times, is the Bite Beauty Gloss. These are their French Press Lip Gloss and this one is in the shade Flat White. So it's like a little bit of a cooler tone gloss. Next up we have BH Cosmetics. I am obsessed with BH Cosmetics. Any of their products that I have used have always like blown me away. They're amazing. Two of the shades that I love are Alice and Sophia. They're quite similar. Like right now they look exactly the same. But one of them is a little bit more on the mauvey side and one of them is a little bit more on the brownie side. So I'm gonna first try on Alice, which, which is the one that's a little bit more on the browner side. And honestly, I think these are like $6 now. I also really like the formula. It's very easy to apply, it's not thick and chunky. And like for $6, it's pretty amazing. 
So on top of this one, I'm going to show you the Butter Gloss from NYX in the shade Fortune Cookie. This gloss is really sheer and creamy, so it's not going to take away the colour of the liquid lipstick too much. Sorry, I think my eyelashes are like not even on properly, so don't even judge me if they're like all over the place. It's about the lips, people. So this is another little combo that I like to wear. This is actually not Sophia, it's called Marcia, I think. There is another one called Sophia that I love, but I don't actually know where that is right now. Again, it's a very, very, very similar to these shades. This is why I thought it was it. Let me just show you this one as well, because it is actually one I've been wearing. It was in my handbag. I just thought it was Sophia. So you can see the difference in this one. It has that mauve undertone to it. Moving on to lipsticks. So I have been loving this color for a while, and if you've been following me for a while, you're going to know what color this is. It is Really Me from MAC. Oh my god, the best shade. The reason why I love this so much is because so many of MAC's nude lipsticks are peach. Like MAC, pull yourself together, stop making peach undertone nude lipsticks. Drives me crazy. So many of them. A very high percentage of them are. So the minute I saw Really Me, I was like, this is my jam. Need it. I need to buy 10. So with my lipsticks, I do like to use a lip liner with my lipsticks. I'm going to use Stone today because Stone is a little bit more of a cooler undertone. Stone is a bit darker than Really Me, so I'm not going to go as heavy with my application. Can you see why I love it? So good. I'm going to put a gloss on top of this just for fun. I'm going to use the Bite Beauty Gloss because it is a cooler tone. So here it is with the gloss. Okay, moving on. So this shade is Flesh Pot from MAC. So you can see it's very, very nude. This on its own, mm -mm, not really a good look. You always need something darker with it. I'm going to use Stone Pencil from MAC again. And now I'm with Flesh Pot. You can see how nude it is. It's a little bit too nude, even for me. So what I like to do is I'll go back in with stone and just like smudge in along the edges and just kind of get that ombre effect. But you can kind of see then how we just changed it with mixing the liner and the lipstick together. So this is my ultimo nude lip. I really like this lip with a black smoky eye, like the contrast between the two always looks so cool. So the last lip I'm going to show you is a little bit more on the sheer, softer side of nudes. It's one of the Tarte lipsticks, it's just a new one I recently got, probably like a month or so ago, it's called Bare Bud. So it's just this really nice soft neutral shade and it has a really really nice sheen to it. I've just really been into it lately. I'm gonna line my lips with Quirl Lip Liner from MAC. So you can see it's just that really soft, natural, everyday. You can wear this lip everywhere. I also like to wear this on top of different lipsticks because it is sheer, like you'll see here on my hand. I do also like to wear this lipstick on top of liquid lipsticks because it just helps moisturize and add that little bit of glossiness to it without a full-on gloss. That's pretty much it for my current favorite nudes. Um, I think that's, I think that is it for today. I'm gonna go now and stand in front of the fan for about five hours because it is so hot and I have no air conditioning. As always, thanks so much for the love, thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video and I hope you have a great day and I hope you're enjoying your weekend and I'll see you in the next video.